the opportunity to come over and demonstrate the saw stop saw technology. Uh, how this saw functions, in case all of you are interested, is it works off conductivity. Anything that conducts electricity will cause this saw to fire its brake cartridge, i.e. your skin. How the saw functions is this is what the brake cartridge looks like. This one has been blown. You can see in the top of it where it's ate a saw blade. Uh, these brake cartridges cost $69 to replace. Uh, this brake cartridge has all the brains for this saw on board. There's a digital microprocessor in this brake cartridge. Uh, and what this digital microprocessor does is it throws approximately three volts up into this saw blade continuously. And it monitors it continuously. Well, when this saw and this microprocessor determines that it's dropping that charge into something, it slams on the brakes. And I mean, it literally slams on the brakes. For those of you who care to look, this is an actual finger save from a very small shop. Uh, of course, you'll damage the saw blade, so if you get a finger save, you're out the saw blade and you're out the brake cartridge. But this was an actual finger save. Has anybody got any questions real quick here? Does it trigger on accident or not at the right time? It'll trigger instantaneously when it drops a charge. Now what you've got. What, what if it's not supposed to stop? I mean, does that happen? No. Okay. Sure. No. Uh, the only time this brake cartridge will blow is when this blade comes in contact with something that conducts electricity. They've sawed through nails. Uh, you can actually put this saw in a bypass mode. You determine if it's going to blow its cartridge and saw, for example, CCA or extremely wet treated material, sometimes it will blow the cartridge. But to determine that, if you're for fear that it might do that, you can, there's a key you can put in the side of this. You can put the saw in override or bypass. At that point, it's a standard table saw and it'll cut all your fingers off. But then when you're done making that cut, this control console will blink and tell you, yeah, I would have blown my brake cartridge, so you probably ought to be cutting dryer stuff. That's your saw blade, and this is your stop, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I donated the saw blade and the hot dog. Not the other piece? The brake cartridge? Yeah. Yes. I donated the brake cartridge. Otherwise, we were going to stop it there. Take your word for it. Okay, I put a. I've put a, uh, I've taken a Sharpie and put a mark on it where I'm going to engage the saw blade. Uh, I'm going to need a volunteer for a minute. Care to volunteer? <laughs> I need you to tell everybody what's happening with this console, okay? Okay. We're solid green. Solid green! Okay. Let's go. This saw will not start if I'm touching this blade. the saw. Five thousandths of a second it got stopped and dropped below the tabletop. What we have under the hood of this saw right now is this. Now the only thing I need to do is open up the saw, loosen the saw blade, take the key out of the brake cartridge, pry them off, put on the new brake cartridge and the new blade, fire it right back up again. We're ready to go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, you know it's coming, man. You just like, wow. Yeah. I can see the guys in the end of